character. Yeah, and you were really cheated out of the opportunity to at least do what you you got to ask some questions. You got to at least have yes. some confrontation. Yes. You guys got to see him held at least to public scrutiny, to at least be outed. It, it, your guy had the audacity to die <laughs> uh, yeah. before he had to face the music, right? Yeah, I think facing the music might have killed him. Yeah. Um, I, I had a few years that I knew about it and just was so scared to come forward, and I went back, back and forth over whether or not I should speak out. And then the moment that I did, um, yeah, he passed away. Mm -hmm. And your mother at this point, uh, unfortunately, suffers from dementia, mm -hmm. correct? But she did have a moment of clarity about this. You, you talked to her about it. What did she say? Yeah, I mean, when I first talked to her about it, the, you know, it was hard for her to understand at first. I think it's just such a shocking thing to hear. Um, but as I was explaining it, the first thing she said was, wait a minute, he's at least a foot shorter than the guy I picked. <laughs> yeah. um, but she does feel like she was violated and she, she calls it the bait and switch. Yeah. Um, where she feels like she was told one thing and he really encouraged her to have, to go ahead with this procedure to, you know, have a child on her own. And then the whole time may have known that he was planning on using his own sperm instead mm -hmm. of the donor that she picked. Well, I have a question for all of you, and I guess it's kind of a <clears throat> yes or no question. Are you glad you found out or would you rather have never known? <laughs> is underway. All we need is you. If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and want to watch a live taping, visit drphil.com and click tickets. Tickets are free and I hope to see you soon. Well, I have a question for all of you and I guess it's kind of a yes or no question. Are you glad you found out, or would you rather have never known? I'm glad I found out. Mm -hmm. It's hard to face it every day. There's days when, um, there's days when I don't want to get out of bed, and I think, why in the hell am I here? But at the same time, um, hopefully we can all make a difference. And I'm blessed with my siblings. Mm -hmm. I found out that my dad wasn't my dad the same time I found out about the story this year. And I'm just glad I have the opportunity to look at my dad and tell him that I still love him the same. And that it's okay. Are you glad you know? I'm going to be the chicken and say, I wish I didn't know. Yeah. It's just... Um, and that's a fair response. I mean... It's been really hard. And I don't think... I don't think I know myself any better from knowing this. It's just created a lot of hard feelings, I think, and I would I'd do without that for sure. Yeah. How about you? I, I'm glad I know, but I wish my parents didn't have to know. To see the heartbreak of my mom seeing her, every time we talk about this, her having to relive her violation. Mm -hmm. over and over again and knowing that she wasn't the only one that got violated mm -hmm. that's what hurts me is i don't like to see her going through this yeah. just like amber said it it's it's tough to go through and, and see our mother's reactions i think yeah. they get lost sometimes because the children are more vocal um you know first and foremost the mothers of the victims of and course. and they they are um uh, struggling with it yeah and diane